So I have a simulation here that has been running for a while. So this is just irregular waves on a monopile. So just swap spectrum, you can see here, on a monopile. And this is the time series of my, uh, my wave elevation. And what I want to show you here is what happens if I take the FFT of my, uh, of my wave elevation here. So I can come here, right click and add a frequency spectrum graph. And then this is what I get. And you might be expecting something different, given that it's a just a spectrum, you might have been expecting something more like this, right? Uh, and instead we get this. So I'm going to explain why this is the case and why this is actually correct. What we're doing here is that we're using an option called equal energy. So it's what you have here. And with equal energy, what we're doing is that um, each of the components of the wave spectrum has the same energy content. Um, and because well energy is proportional to the amplitude square, then you know all my all my my wave components here have the same amplitude. Oh well this by the way it's the this is just the FFT components divided by the by the number of uh, of time steps time steps. So this is what uh, what we show here. And actually you can also see all the components, yeah, here you can export all the components and, and uh, have a look at them. And uh, yeah, I mean, what you would see from this graph is that yeah, they all have the same, um, the same energy component and they actually all have the same, the same heights, all the wave components. So this seems a bit counterintuitive. You would, um, you would expect that rather than choosing the same energy content per component, you want them to be spaced equally in frequency. The reason with that is, well, there's two reasons. The first one is that if you had the same uh, frequency difference between every component, if you, had, if you had the same delta f, then you would have a repetition time that would be much smaller than what we currently have. So, you know, you can think of it this way. Because we're having a finite number of components in our wave spectrum, then after a certain time, the wave elevation is going to repeat itself. And if I choose this option, the equal energy option, this repetition time is, well, it's virtually infinite. For the purposes of uh, winter turbine simulations, you don't have to, to worry about it. So that's the, fir the first reason. The second reason is that, well, if I zoom in here, you can see that the discretization around the, the peak frequency, so here it's 0.1 Hertz, is much finer. Uh, yeah, down here. So the, the discretization is much finer around the peak frequency. And yeah, so well, you can also choose the, the other option, which is equal frequency. And that's what I'm going to do now here. And then start my simulation. I can remove this graph here. And again, you can come here and have a look at the components. Um, yeah, and these are the, these are the components here. My, uh, the components of my wave spectrum. And now you can see that here the, well, the delta omega, so the, the frequency difference between two components is constant across the spectrum. But that the, the height of each of the components, so which we're gonna see as an amplitude here, is, uh, is different. And I can come here and again plot my frequency spectrum. And, yeah, and so now you, look, you get something that looks more like, you know, what we're having a look at before, so this, this uh, spectrum here. So I guess the question that remains is, why do we have the equal frequency option if we've said that the equal energy option is, is better? And I guess that's mostly for uh, historical reasons. That's the first one that we implemented. That's the most kind of intuitive one to have a same, uh, same frequency difference. And now it's also used for, uh, well, it, it illustrates very well what the John Swap spectrum is and does. So yeah, so that was a short video on, on Spectra. I hope that, that you enjoyed it. And as always, you can like and subscribe if you feel like. See you around.